Right guys, Anthony Cummins here. If you want to support me, please do get my books like you've just seen in the introduction to How to Be a Modern Samurai. Get that and support me. Okay, so basically, kuden. Now, we always hear this word kuden in, in Koryu. And I want to sort of put the sort of a little video out there to give you a, a foundation or a balance to balance off your idea of what kuden, secret kuden is. So basically, kuden means oral tradition. And it means things to tell you by mouth. In my opinion, opinion only, uh, I have come across two types of kuden in uh, my research, and that is kuden that is clearly this will be passed on because I'm not writing it down, it's too secret. And the other one is, my God, this is a load of hassle to write all this down, I'll tell you when I see you. That's the two types I've come, just simply from context. Some of it's like, and this is a complicated matter with various, more in kuden. And then there's like, but this will be kept as kuden because they're just, they're not telling you what it is. It's like, and we've got a skill on crossing rivers with this, but that is kuden. You know, it doesn't tell you what it is. Whereas other ones would be like, we've got a skill of crossing rivers and um, we know how to make it from leather and wicker and pine resin, but it will be kuden. So basically, you know, it's a float to do. You make it out of this, but how to make it, they're going to tell you later. Okay, so this goes for everything. Sword fighting, spear fighting, the lot. Now, the question becomes is... What, what a lot of people don't get right out there is they think, oh, there's some master in Japan. He's been given a tradition for 500 years and I've seen a book on it. I've seen the DVD. I've seen what they do in demonstrations, but he has all this kuden that, that's got all the mysteries and teachings. Actually, that's not true. It, obviously, it's individual for every case, but every time I've spoke to masters in Japan and I've got to the heart of some of these, they say, oh, most of it's missing, it's lost. So let's take Katori Shinto Ryu. Katori Shinto Ryu, uh, if you go to the old, old scrolls, there's tons of extra information, which you speak to them now, and they're like, oh, we've lost that, and that's not with us anymore, and we've got that. So what actually happens is these co reuse go on for years, and every generation, every generation drops off a little bit of kuden, a little bit of kuden, or it could be that it's kept, and then one generation, it's just... It almost disappears, the school, and somebody recomes, and lots of the kuden is gone. A master dies early, who's kept most of the kuden to themselves, goes. So each school that you see, each Koryu school, actually has a certain amount of kuden. But 100% of them, 100%, and I would love to be proven wrong on this, but 100% have lost a certain percentage of kuden. Now, I've worked with many different schools, like let's take, for example, Mubyoshi Ryu. I've worked with them. They lost nearly all of their stuff. All they had was the jujitsu left. I, along with Miyako, who's excellent, who's probably a reincarnation of Hagiwara Juzo, to be honest. I think she is. Every time she's with me, something happens about Hagiwara Juzo. We found their original family, found certain scrolls, found scrolls in the most unrealistic ways. People have contacted her through coincidence. She is reincarnated Hagiwara Juzo. Without a shadow of a doubt, she's there to put you back on track of this. So basically, you've got Hagiwara Juzo's school, and we went around collected all the information. We've got tons of it. Tons and tons of it, probably about in total now, um, with the scrolls that we've found, the original family, probably two, three hundred scrolls, maybe, you know, we'd have to check them all together. But let's say 150 to 200 minimum scrolls on Hagiwara Juzoni's life. Yet the Mubyoshi Ryu, who was actually the descendant, didn't even know who Hagiwara Juzo is, or Hagihara is he correctly termed, but Hagihara Juzo. They didn't know who he is, and he founded their school. They have lost that much kuden. They only imagine that their school went to the 1850s, 1820s, or something like that, because one of the people in Mubyoshi was famous and started their own line of Mubyoshi and put themselves at the top, and hadn't passed on the fact that Hagiwara Juzo was the founder. And they've lost all their ninjutsu, all their rope techniques, oh, there's just tons of different weapons, secret weapons, all gone. All that was left in the last school of Hagiwara Juzo, in the last bastion of Mubyoshi Ryu, was a selection of jujitsu skills. That's it. Okay? Everything else was found by us. So it's actually reversed. We didn't go to the Grand Master to get Kuden. We approached the Grand Master and gave them their Kuden back. It's that. That's how much is lost. Okay? So... When people say Anthony doesn't Cummins doesn't have the kuden, normally it's the opposite way around. Anthony Cummins does have the kuden because he's the only muppet who goes around Japan spending his own cash, not on fast cars and girls, but on pieces of paper. 
then going to old gentlemen and then saying, there you go, there's your kudem bag. Do you know what I mean? So of course now, uh, if you're unaware, I'm working with Taisha Ryu and Taisha Ryu are putting all their stuff together to record their school. There will be a book coming out on Taisha Ryu, which you can buy 1500 swordsmanship with. Uh, there'll probably be a couple of books coming out straight back to some top level swordsmen um, connected to Shinkagi Ryu. And at the same time as Yagu Shinkagi was founded, and they themselves are like, well, this we've got in Kuden, this we don't have in Kuden, this was lost here, that's gone. So, for example, they have funeral rites for the master, which is, I talked about the other day, which is excellent, but some bits are missing. But they found documents now in archives which re put some of that stuff in. So, all of these Koryu people are in this position of like, what 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 you know they're in a position of do we add this back because we found it in the historical record but then it's no longer been passed on by us unobscured for this many years so it starts to become another aspect we can talk about that in the new year if you want so basically um kuden is always one not complete two passed on by word of mouth simply because um it's too complicated to be able to turn to write it down but also Kuden is not always oral. So everybody gets this bit wrong. They say, oh, Kuden's oral, Kuden's oral. It was oral. But now you have lots and lots of documents that say Kuden Kikigaki, to hear the oral traditions. And somebody in the 1600s writes them down. You get so many manuals. If you want to know when you're researching manuals, you always get um, basically oral the sounds of oral traditions, the writings of oral traditions, the this, this, this of oral traditions. So when you look at the word kuden in the listings in Japan, and there's so many of them. So you search kuden. So most kuden, in fact, I'm going to go out on a limb and say 99.999% of course, I'm, uh, you know, uh, making a point of Kuden in Japan for Koryu is written down and he's not spoken. And it was written down in samurai times. And you can go and get vast amounts of Kuden from flower arranging to pottery to swordsmanship to sword making to ninjutsu. And it's all there in the Japanese record. And it is literally handwritten because the original founder passed it on by word of mouth and somebody wrote it down. Kuden. This, this is what the master said. This is what the kuden is. So sometimes the master says this and the kuden is like this. Now, what I'm going to do is put some pictures on the screen here. And I'm going to show you the fact that Natoryu, the school I have brought back to life from the 1500s, is actually full of kuden. And people say, oh, where's Antenna's kuden? He doesn't have the kuden. How can he recreate the knowledge of Natoryu without the kuden? Well, actually, Anthony does have the kuden. Now, like every other grandmaster, not that I'm a grandmaster, but like every other grandmaster in the the world of Japan, um, they have lost a certain amount of kuden. Natoru Ryu has lost a certain amount of kuden. We know that. However, we don't know how much because we don't, if it's lost, you don't know. But we have vast amounts of kuden, so much written down, and not by one person. We have three separate kuden accounts. So hopefully, uh, next to me here or on the screen or whatever I decide to do in the edit, there are pictures of Natoru, and you'll see the big writing is actually um, the main master, and the small writing around it is actually the kuden. So that is why we have the kuden Natoru. Not only do we have the kuden, imagine just one line being passed down, we also have the kuden of three masters. So three masters in the past have written down their kuden and we have that for nearly all the scrolls. Some scrolls have one, most have two, some have three and possibly there'll be four for some um, because we've got different ones from all over. So in Natoru, which you can join, you can join, uh, then basically you can basically have all the kuden and all the understanding of the old samurai master of the past. Okay, guys. I want to leave you with that. And basically, what I'm trying to say is that be careful when you use the word kuden. It does mean oral tradition, but it doesn't always mean secret. There are words that in Japanese that mean secret. It can also be written down. In fact, 99% of the kuden you're ever going to come across if you research is written down. And in the original schools, lots of kuden is lost. That doesn't mean it's all lost. There's definitely kuden in the schools passed down. But actually, if you want to find the real kuden, you're probably best searching the historical record, searching the libraries of the school for the school you want, let's say Katori Shintoryu, and going looking through all of it and getting the stuff down. Now, we're all famous with the Yagushin Kagiru Inomaki, 
And that literally has the CUDEN there written down. Do it like this because somebody wrote down how to do it. That is CUDEN. Originally, it was just a list of words. Then it became a list of words with pictures. And then it was a list of words with pictures and the CUDEN written down, the how to. So don't be confused by CUDEN. It doesn't mean only through the mouth. It's often written down on paper. Please do support me. I'm going to put a little advert here for the book, How to Be a Modern Samurai. It really helps when you buy these books, guys. Keeps me going. See you later.